Hello, dear students. Today we are going to talk about the bleeding. The aim of our lesson to teach students to recognize types of bleeding, provide first aid for injuries. Lesson objectives: to introduce with the text bleeding, to develop pupils' listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills, to widen pupils' outlook. Now let's learn the new words: bleeding, severe loss of blood, case, blood transfusion, injuries, nose bleeds, skull, abdominal cavity. What is bleeding? Bleeding can lead to a severe loss of blood. The best way to stop bleeding is by direct pressure with a clean cloth. If the bleeding is from the arm or the leg, The limb can be kept in a raised position. If the bleeding is from a nose, put a cold compress on the nose. Causes of bleeding can range from small cuts to deep cuts and amputations. Injury to the body can also result in internal bleeding, which can range from minor to massive bleeds. There are different types of bleeding. For example, minor bleeding, nose bleeds, external bleeding, and internal bleeding. So, first aid for minor bleeding: clean the injured area with sterile material. Do not use cotton wool or any material. Apply an appropriate dressing such as band aid. See a doctor if you can't remove the dirt yourself. A dirty wound carries a high risk of infection. First aid for nose bleeds: sit the person upright, using the thumb and forefinger, sneeze their nostril shut. Hold for at least ten minutes. If the bleeding continues about twenty minutes, seek a medical aid. First aid for external bleeding: check for danger before approaching the injured person. Lie the person down. If a limb is injured, raise the injured area about the level of the person's heart. Get the person to apply direct pressure to the wounds with their hands or hands to stem the blood flow. If an object is embedded in the wound, do not remove it. Apply pressure around the object. Do not apply a tourniquet. First aid for internal bleeding. It is important to remember that an injured person may be bleeding internally, even if you can't see any blood. An internal injury can sometimes cause bleeding that remains contained within the body. For example, within the skull or abdominal cavity. Let's do exercises. Find Kazakh Russian equivalents. Now feedback. Answer the questions. What can lead to a severe loss of blood? What is the best way to stop the bleeding? What do the doctors in severe cases? And types of bleeding. Thank you very much for your attention. See you.